some question for a goodwill or gain from bargain purchase in terms of high-fresh trade. So, uh, let's start. So, the first process that we have to do is to calculate a consideration transfer. Consideration transfer. Okay. So, when we calculate a consideration transfer, we are taking everything that has been involved in terms of the in order for us to gain a certain percentage that we are purchasing to other a company okay then let's start with our consideration transfer calculation number one what you have to identify is whether we are dealing with internal case or external case okay if you check on this question on the first paragraph they say blazer tech limited is a company listed on Johannes Black Stock Exchange. Laser operate mainly in Gauteng province in selling laptop, computer, software, providing network of office bag service on 3 January 2018. Laser Tech acquire 80% of ordinary share in Samsung Limited. So on that day, the assets and liability of Samsung were considered to be fair valued. If you check in this case, uh, we're gonna regard this case as an external case. Why? Because we never own any share from this company. If you find that the company you previously own a certain percentage of share, you have to know that we are dealing with internal case. This because this is it. It won't be a new company to us because we previously own a certain percentage. But if it's a new company. Is an external case which direct us to use a market value or a fair value. However, if it's internal case, a company that we previously own a certain percentage, we have to use internal value or a book value. So, when we calculate a consideration transfer, they are going to give you two amount of on those two amount we have to pick one amount so you pick those amount depending on the internal or external okay let's start this case we found that we just purchased 80 percent of share in this company of samsung ltd but we never own any share from samsung ltd which means that we are dealing with what with internal case okay let's go quickly to number four transition number four which have all the information that we have to use to calculate what a consideration transfer. They said 4.1 Lee Zetek will pay Miss Low three equal installment of 2.5 million effective on 1 January 2019. There is no interest charge on delay payment, however, it was considered a fair effective interest rate of 15%. So we have to use financial calculator in order to get this uh, payment. Remember, we have to use a present value to determine the payment of two equal installment okay they said three equal installment all right which means that the first thing that we have to do is to divide 2.5 million by three so that we can get the payment that is going to be made um, in three years okay let's take the calculator which means that we are going to say 2.5 million divided by 3, which we are going to get 833,333. Okay, so which means that in this payment we have to lay down our I, which is 15%, our N, which is 3 installment, our future value is going to be 0, our PMT is going to be. Eight three 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 three. Then we calculate what present value, which you are going to punch it on your financial calculator. Then you get the amount. Okay, four point two. They said Laser Tech will transfer one of its vehicle to Miss no former shareholder of Samsung Ltd. On three January twenty nineteen, the vehicle had a depreciated carrying amount of four point eight and fair value of five point two. So the transfer of vehicle, guys, remember I said this is external case, which means that we have to take what 
fair value. But if it's an internal case, if we previously owned the share on this company, we were going to use what? A current value. So which means that we have to use amount of fair value, which is 5.22,500. Then from there, um, let's go to 4.3. The, the Lisa Tech LTD will issue 100,000 share of its ordinary share. So they said um, to me, no, on 3 January 2018, the ordinary share of Lisa Tech are currently trading at 15 rand per share, which is an external amount of 15 rand because they said it's currently trading. That is, that is a market value. Then they said a recent direct valuation is 18 rand and 15 cent per share, which means in this case, we have to use external side. External side is a currently trading of 15 rand, which means that ordinary share, we are going to say 100,000 multiplied by 15 rand. We are going to use 18 rand 50 if it was internal case. Okay, which means that we are going to get 1.5 million. Okay, let's proceed. 4.4, they said it was agreed that Lisa Tech will settle a loan on behalf of Ms. Low with local bank of APSA. The loan had fair value of 4.5, uh, 450,000 on 3 January 2018. The loan repayment. There is no option for this one, which means that we can just take 450,000 as it is. Okay, it was agreed that this said that Miss No will entitle for further 1 million on 31 December 2019 till the profit of Samsung continue to increase by a minimum of 10% over the next 2 years. The probability of 10% increase in profit is determined to be higher. Okay, the fair value, it was 300,000. So, they say that the probability of 10% increase of the profit, you see, they said it's, it's higher, which means that it's more than it's more than 50%. If something is more than 50%, guys, in accounting, we have to do what? To consider it. Okay. They said it's going to pay 1 million. This is internal case. If this is internal value of 1 million, then the external value is fair value of the liability that was estimated to be 300,000, which means that in this case, we are going to use a amount of 300,000. 300? is external value because we are dealing with what a new company external case okay then from there uh, we don't have other transaction which means that you can calculate your your consideration transfer okay then from there which means that we can start with our calculation of net assets okay Let's quickly do this before we waste a lot of time. Okay, we start with a consideration transfer that we have calculated. Consideration transfer. This is the same amount that we have calculated in the previous calculation that we were doing. Okay, then number two, we have to add previous held amount which in this case we don't have a previous held amount okay then we add mci our mci in this case remember we purchased 80 percent which means that our mci is 20 percent of net assets then from there you're gonna get the total okay then now let's start with net asset calculation asset calculation then number one we have a in this case they give us equity part remember equity part is the same as what net assets assets minus liability is the same as net assets and is the same as equity okay we have share capital of 1 million we have retained Innings of 8.5 million with other reserve of 
Really? Okay. Then, from there, we have to check additional information number one and to number three. To check whether effect there is any effect of net assets of our subsidiary before we do what we do a calculation. Okay. Number one, they say during December 2017, Samsung LTD was involved in dispute with one of its clients related to shipment of laptop, which was misled. The investigation were ongoing as 31 December 2017 to determine which negligent cause of damage to the laptop, management of Samsung along with the legal team determined that the present obligation existed and fair value of legal claim estimated to be 550. However, due to ongoing investigation, the probability of outflow of economic benefit was removed and could not be determined as 31 December 2017. The accountant of Samsung disclosed the contingent liability at 500,000 in the financial statement of the year ended 31 December 2017. 17. All right, so this is um, accountant of Samsung uh, disclosed this amount as a contingency liability. Remember, contingency liability we don't recognize a provision we recognize, which means that this amount was not previously recognized in the financial statement, it was just disclosed. Remember, in terms of IFRS 3, it says that. Even though the amount does not meet the requirements of its IFRS, we have to recognize it in terms of what? Of IFRS 3. As long as there is a what? There is a present obligation or there is a estimated amount. Except the case of the retrenchment of employees. We only recognize a retrenchment of employees if they employees have been informed it doesn't matter whether employees of the company um, whether the company has made a decision and informed trade union and other stuff it doesn't matter as long as the employees have been informed we are going to do what to recognize it but if they didn't inform employees then we are going to do what to ignore it except that transaction all of them you have to do what you have to recognize them okay then we have um, this one is a lawsuit. Remember, it's a liability, which means that we have to write it in brackets because it's going to reduce what a net asset. Okay, the following one they said on three January twenty eighteen, Samsung had classified one of its um one of its machine as held for sale in terms of IFRS five. On this date, machine had a current amount of three point five fifteen million and the fair value it was four million remember we are dealing with what with fair value and they said the samsung ltd our subsidiary they recognized 3.550 instead of what of fair value of four million because it's external case it's external case which means that what we have to do we don't recognize four million as it is we record the different and we edit why because we are dealing with the case where there is a other amount which already recognized, which means that in this case, 3.550 minus 4 million is going to give us 450,000. Okay, it's a matching. We have to add 450,000 from 350,000 so that it, it will give us 4 million. Then it will be measured at fair value. Okay, so from there, the number last one, number three, they said on 3 January 2018, Samsung has internally generated brand that was determined to be with P750. This brand is not recognized in the financial statement as it did not meet the requirement of IS 38. Okay, so in this case, uh, guys, this transaction, always you will find that the brand or a... Um, Internally generated brand is not uh, recognized because it does not meet in terms of IS 38. So when we go to IFRS 3, it says that it doesn't matter whether it has met uh, requirements of IS 38 or not, as long as it it is actually generated and if we have a what a amount that worthy that brand. We have to do what we have to 
recognize it. Okay. Then our brand is seven fifty thousand. Then from there you can calculate your total net asset. Okay, the net asset. Then you're gonna add them together. Then it gives you amount. From there, that way you're gonna take this amount and take it to add MCI. You multiply by it by twenty percent. Then you're gonna get the amount which you're going to put it here. Then after that, you can be able to calculate the total of consideration transfer plus previous held plus add MCI. Then you get the total. That's where you're going to compare this total with the net asset and determine whether it's a good win or gain. <laughs> then you write amount. So if what you paid is more than net asset that's a good win if this one is more than this one it's a good win so if it's less it's opposite which means that it's a gain all right so that's what you have to do when you deal with the ifres 3 when you calculate a consideration transfer together with good win or gain from bargain purchase i hope you learned something see you next time